Leaders from the group of 20 economies will start their second day of talks in a few hours' time. U.S. President Barack Obama is using the summit in St. Petersburg, Russia, to seek international support for possible military action against the Syrian government. On the sidelines of the summit, Obama will have one-on-one -on -one meetings with Chinese President Xi Jinping and French President Francois Hollande. G20 leaders exchanged views on Syria over dinner on Thursday. Some called for a united front against the Syrian government. Others emphasized the need for the UN Security Council to approve any military action. Russia, which is chairing the summit, remains strongly opposed to armed intervention in Syria. Meanwhile, a senior U.S. Navy official says it's prepared to take action if and when it's ordered. Admiral Jonathan Greenett says four missile destroyers are stationed off Syria's coast in the Mediterranean Sea. They were organized, trained and equipped and delivered to the combat commanders, uh, fully ready for a, a vast spectrum of operations. The Navy has also dispatched two carrier strike groups to the Arabian Sea and other areas as backup. Russia has also sent vessels to the region. On Thursday, three Russian warships were seen heading for the Mediterranean through the Bosporus Strait. Russia always has four naval vessels stationed in the waters of Syria and is planning to send three more. The Russian government says they'll be used to help evacuate Russian citizens from Syria if the U.S. attacks.